Dun, da, da, da. Hey, welcome back, Van here. This video, we're gonna be doing some wood carving on some roots. Look, you can pick up one of these wood carving discs here. You're gonna not, you, you are gonna not believe this. How are you not gonna not believe this? Look, man, I bought this place back like a few years ago and I've not done this here. I, this, I've had this for a long time. This thing will last you a long time, but this angle grinder is missing a plug. So which is cheaper, buying a plug for the end of the angle grinder or buying a cheap angle grinder at Harbor Freight for $10? Well, buying a plug would be the cheapest thing, but I didn't do that. So we bought this right here. This is the Drill Master, four and a half inch uh, angle grinder, 120 volt. Uh, since I've lived here, I've broke three of these, and if you don't know what this is, this is a spindle for a riding lawnmower, a Craftsman riding lawnmower. I've broke three of these, and it does get quite expensive trying to replace three of them, but I do buy them, and I got a mess here. I do buy them on eBay, so I get a good deal on them, but I don't know anything about this drill master. I know about this Craftsman. It's a great uh, angle grinder. We're gonna put this thing together real quick and then we're gonna get out here and do some grinding on some uh, roots. So don't go away yet because this is gonna be a real quick video. I'm not gonna jibber jabber a whole lot. I'm just gonna get her did. Uh, if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about saving you time and money with my how to's and product reviews. I hope that this video will save you tons of time and money if you're looking to buy one of these there'll be a link in the video description <laughs> yep down in the video description down below if you're looking to buy one of these i got off harbor freight but i'll also leave a, a link in the video description to pick one up on amazon if you're not an amazon prime a, a customer you can pick one up and if it's over $25, you get free shipping. So you should be able to go to Amazon and pick up a cheap angle grinder and one of these wood carving discs for practically nothing and get free shipping. So uh, I know about these things a little bit, you know, you push in the red dot on the back, you take your uh, spanner wrench. You want to take this off right here and drop it. Now, the thing about this wood carving disc, let me show this to you. If you look at this, it's got the blue thing in the middle. What you want to do is pop that blue thing out and keep it. Because what happens is, yeah, this thing will actually come apart. See? You don't want that. So, keep the blue hickey so that you can put it right back in there and... It'll keep this thing together when you go to put it back in your pack because a lot of times you're not going to need this You're gonna need something else and also with this you use the same kind of sharpener that you use for uh, a chainsaw and it sharpens it up really good uh, I've had this thing for a long time. I've had this thing. Maybe God, I don't know more than five years and if you notice what happened I set that down and this chain went all wonker dude here. Pull it back out and play with it. That's why, god dang it, you do not want to mother effing crap. You do not, you do not want to lose that blue thing because it is, I'm telling you, it's a pain in the butthole to get this back where it needs to be at. So just keep playing with it. God dang, I can't believe I've done that. But maybe it's a good thing because you got to see it in the video on why you need to keep that blue piece there. Oh my God. What have I done? Jeez Louise. Get in there. God dang it. This is a pain in the butt. Mm. You don't want to lose the blue piece and you don't want to let this thing come apart. Oh my gosh. I think I just got it. I think I just got it back in there, okay? So, you don't want this thing to fall apart. I never, I've never had this thing fall apart on me using it, but imagine this. Imagine this thing falling apart on you while you're using it. This would be like some kind of medieval 
gut and disavow you disem disembowel you slide this thing around here i believe we're in a good spot now look in here we got these holes lined up from the front to the back okay next we're going to sit this down inside here we're going to hold it tight so she don't come apart we're going to start screwing this spanner nut down this is a spanner s-p-a-n-n-e-r nut n-u-t and this is a spanner s-p-a-n-n-e-r wrench w-r-e-n-c-h wrench all right you want to just spin that around till i hold that button in spin it around watch now the button goes in i'm holding pressure on her as i'm spinning this around this right here around not this now i'm gonna tighten this mother sucker down here get her tight you want to get this tight i'm telling you what no room for accidents right we don't want to go to the emergency room today at all i don't i don't like pain i'm telling you what i don't like pain at all all right let's do it let's go out here and do it so to use this thing i put this on the wrong side because i'm right-handed and that's for left-handed put it back over here this is just a little pos angle grinder not not nothing big deal you know just a little pos to use it that's the way you do it right there there to release it you push it push it up release it push it up release it let's go cut some roots okay i want to show you this area right here this is where i've actually broke two spindles in this area right here and i know it's close to the tree and people will say don't be cutting them you're gonna ruin that tree i don't care this tree right here is a tupelo honey it's called a black uh a black gum but it's also called a tupelo honey and these are the roots that we're fixing to get rid of got all these uh trimmings right here we're fixing to go sharpen this blade back in the shop this is one of those projects that you want to do on like a uh, saturday or some days you're off where you got time to actually spend on it that's too big the one i need is right here if you don't have a chainsaw blade sharpening kit I'll leave a link in the video description for that too as well just to save you some time and get it all on Amazon one trip uh, this is actually for a chainsaw blade and what that does is it keeps it flat but since this is round you can't do that so this turns that way see the thing about using this on a root is that you're using it on green wood and when you use it on green wood, then it's going to be, it's going to get gummed up a lot faster. There's that one. You want to do it about the same on every one of them. Yeah, eight times on each one, and you're good to go. That's how you sharpen it. I'm just here to tell you that this is one of the best ways that I've found to get rid of roots. This is something I've been doing for a long time. 
for years. I've had this thing for a long time, and it just hit me one day. A carving disc. I, I bought this thing to make spoons, and I never did make any spoons. And I'm like, I got that carving disc. Let me see if I can take care of the roots. And I did. And that was at my other place. Since I moved over here, I haven't been able to because I don't have an end on my angle grinder. Uh, one thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you wear safety glasses because this is something that's going to throw a lot of stuff at your eyes and you don't want any green wood or splinters or anything, but green wood will really aggravate your eyes. So if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and the notification bell when you hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Y'all, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. You have a good one now, and you come back. You. <laughs>